Hello, I'm Dr. Peony. It's very nice to meet you. How are you doing today? Yeah, pretty good. Good. So, you're in today for a cranial nerve exam. Mm hmm. And it looks like you're in today. Let's see. So, it looks like you are in today to make sure there are no lingering effects from an accident you were involved in recently. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, would you mind telling me a little bit about the accident and why you think you might have some lasting effects from that? Okay. Mm hmm Okay. I see. All right. And where did you go after the accident? Did you go to the ER, urgent care? Mm-hmm. And how long did you have to stay? Okay, next day. And were there any discharge instructions? Were you recommended any specialists? Did you go to your GP afterwards? All right, and what did they say? Mm -hmm. All right, so I was the only specialist that they recommended. Okay, and then can you tell me some of the reasons why that was? Are you noticing any symptoms? Okay. So you're having some trouble focusing. Is that in general with schoolwork? What specifically are you having a hard time focusing on or with? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you didn't have any issues with focus prior to the accident? All right. And then any other symptoms that I need to be aware of? Oh, okay. And then again, just making sure before the accident, you never um, experienced that. Okay. Do you have any allergies? Food, medication, anything like that? Hay fever. Have you had any major surgeries in the last two years? And are you currently taking any medications? Yeah, over the counter or prescription. Is that one a day? Like your vitals were taken by your nurse. Everything looks good. So yay. Um, I'm just going to be listening to your heart though. Um, but blood pressure looks good. Um, and I'll be taking your temperature again. All right. Height and weight. All right. That's all good to go. Um, So you're noticing that you're having a difficult time focusing and that your vision seems to be a little off ever since the accident. Okay. Um, anything else that I need to be aware of? Any other concerns, questions before we get started? All right. Um, yeah, so nothing scary. A cranial nerve exam is just a series of tests I'm going to be performing on you. And um, it, it's very harmless. shouldn't take too, too long. Um, it's involving things like sight, um, basically your senses, so sight, smell, touch, hearing, all that good stuff. So um, if you have any questions along the way, just feel free to let me know. Um, otherwise, we can go ahead and get started. I think I have all of your information that I need. Um, did the nurse, was she able to grab a pharmacy from you? Okay. So we're going to get started and then from time to time, I'll be taking notes on my clipboard here, okay? Let 
Right. Okay. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started. Um, just make sure that you're nice and comfortable where you're sitting there, okay? Get nice and comfy. It'll take a few minutes, like I said, not too terribly long, but just make sure you're comfortable so you can focus on all of these tests that we have to do, okay? All right, so I am going to start by just taking your temperature. Okay, so just sit back for me. I'm just going to be moving this right above your head. Let's see. Make sure it's working. All right, and this is going to just take your temperature above your forehead here. I don't have to touch you at all. I'm going to jot that down, okay? Alright, 98.6, so perfect. Okay, now I'm going to listen to your heart before we start the test. Make sure everything sounds good. Be touching your arm, is it okay? Right. Okay, now I'm going to be going behind you and listening to your back, okay? Okay, so deep breath in for me. Thank you very much. Everything sounds perfect. Okay, so and now I'm going to be taking a look into your ears, your nose, and your eyes, all right? And I'm going to also feel around on your face a little bit. Um, what injuries uh, were sustained during the accident? Okay. Uh-huh. And then any injuries to the head or face? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that, that counts. Is that why you have the, the band-aid right here, right? Okay. All right. And I'm going to take a look at that. If you don't mind, I'll put on some gloves and inspect that wound. Okay. All right, so I'm actually going to take this off and grab some gloves, all right? One second. You weren't recommended any other specialist, correct? Okay. No additional x-rays were required, anything like that? Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and take a peek into your eyes first. I have this purple little light here, and I'm just going to be peeking into your eyes. Are you okay if I lightly touch your face? Okay. So, I'm just going to feel right here a little bit. Let me know if anything makes you uncomfortable, okay? going to be looking into your eyes. Alright, 
everything looks good there. Um, we're going to be doing some eye tests shortly, but I'm going to take a look into your ears first and your nose, all right? And I have another little light here. Very harmless. I'm sure you've seen these before. Yeah. All right, so let's actually take a look into your nose. I'm going to have you tilt your head back. Perfect. Okay. Keep looking up, up, up. Very good. And then the other one, I'm just going to move this a little bit. Does that hurt? Okay. Slightly touching your nose. Okay. Is that uncomfortable? Alright. Everything looks good there. And no breathing issues, right? Okay. So now I'm gonna take this one, off, this one on, and I'm gonna take a look into your ears now. Any problems that you've noticed with your hearing at all? Okay. Alright. I'm just gonna go ear to ear and take a little look, okay? Let me know if there's anything feeling uncomfortable or if it hurts. And I'm just gonna be lightly pulling on your ear just a little bit, okay? I'm taking just a little look in here. Okay, I do see quite a bit of wax build up. Oh, not too much irritation though. Okay. Alright. I'll take a look in your other one now. Just again, going to be lightly, lightly pulling on this. Well, your ears look nice and healthy. A little bit of wax build up, um, but that's easily addressed. I don't think that has anything to do with the accident. Um, but if you wanted to go to an ENT, perhaps, to get that looked at, um, your GP should also be able to uh, possibly, yeah, I believe they should be able to treat that in, in their office, in their practice. Um, does it bother you? Okay. Are you prone to ear infections, anything like that? Okay. Yeah, just keep an eye on it. If you notice that um, you're getting any irritation in the ears, trouble hearing, um, I would call your general practitioner and schedule an appointment. And then if um, they can't do anything about it, then they should be able to refer you to a specialist like an ENT. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At ear, nose, and throat. Mm-hmm. No, it's okay. I don't... A lot of people don't know that. Okay, I'm just gonna take a look at something real quick that I saw over here. Okay. Just wanted to... Make sure. Okay. There's just a little... Okay. Make sure it's the same on this side. So now we're going to be moving on to the eye test that I told you about. You know, let me take a quick look at your face since I have the gloves on. I'm just going to be very lightly filling around on your face a little bit, especially where you have the bandage up there. And then I'm going to be pulling that back and inspecting it. Um, when was the bandage applied? Mm -hmm. Okay, did you put any neosporin, disinfectant, anything like that? Oh, okay. All right, so I'll, I'll just leave it alone then and I'll put it right back, but I do just want to take a look at it. So I'm going to start there and um, let me know if it's uncomfortable or anything. Okay. I'm just going to peel it back just a little bit. Sorry. It's already... So I heard it all. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm gonna put that back on there. All 
dry. It seems to be healing pretty well. Um, just make sure to keep it clean and change out the bandage every once in a while, okay? Alright, so now I'm just going to be lightly touching your face. Are you okay with that? Okay. Now, this is a tool that I use to determine if there's anything going on. So, um, if anything is bothering you or uncomfortable, don't, don't feel bad about telling me. Um, this is all part of it, so it'll help me to determine if there's something going on, okay? So please just tell me anything that you notice. I'm going to be pinching your nose just a little bit. Just tell me if it's... Good? Okay. I'm going to be feeling right here. Could you tilt your head back just a little bit? Yeah, perfect. Be lightly pushing in here, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go up to your temples and lightly push in there, okay? Any discomfort? Okay. A little bit of a headache, all right? that just start? Okay. Any discomfort when I push here? Okay, under your eyes. I'm lightly pushing right under your eyes. Anything? Okay. So you have a little bit of a headache. Okay. Take the gloves off now. I should be done for now with these. Um, and then whenever I pinched your nose, you didn't feel any discomfort. Okay. So a headache. And then what about under your eyes? Did you notice anything? Where do you feel the headache? Do you feel it top of your head, behind? Does it kind of feel like it's right behind your eyes? Mm -hmm. And do you have any family history of migraines? How often do you experience them? Mm-hmm. And then on a scale of 1 to 10, so 1 being not really at all, and then 10 being severely painful, how would you rate the uh, pressure when I was put, um, lightly pushing on your temples? What would you say the pain level was for that? Okay. Yeah, that could be related to your headache. Certainly. Um... How many hours of sleep do you get a night? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, it's definitely not enough. Um, try to work on that, okay? Do you suffer from insomnia at all? Okay. Is everyone in the family? Okay, and have you ever um, received treatment for that or gone to a specialist? Okay. All right, well, yeah, that is uh, something to keep in mind, something that would definitely help you if you've been having trouble falling asleep for over a couple weeks and you've tried different things, nothing's helped, then um, I, I would say it's time to go in uh, maybe for a sleep study, um, possibly maybe go see a therapist, psychologist, um, or a psychiatrist to kind of help figure out what maybe might be going on. Uh, maybe visit your GP first and see what they recommend and then kind of go from there. Okay. All right, just give me one second. Let me just make sure this is going. And I will need some more gloves for whenever we do the um, tasting portion. Where are those? Okay. 
All right, so the eye test. I do have an eye chart behind me. I'm gonna have you read some letters off, but before we do that, I'm just gonna have you do something called um, follow the light, as I like to call it. It's just a simple swing test. So what you're going to do is just follow the light, okay? So I want you to keep, yeah, you need to keep your head completely still, and get nice and comfortable, okay? And just follow the light for me. All right, so eyes on the light. Very good. Yep, same thing. Now what I'm going to be doing is moving the flashlight back and forth, but I would like you to keep your eyes on one simple subject. So you could stare at the big E behind me. You can stare at the tip of my nose. You can pick a spot elsewhere on the wall behind me. Just make sure you keep your focus and your gaze on that one spot the whole time. I'm just going to be seeing how your pupils react to the light. Okay, so head nice and still. Pick something to focus on. Okay, here we go. doing great. And blinding you. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to read off some letters, okay? I'm going to just draw down a quick note about your eye test. So you ready? Okay. So, yes, I have. I'm sure you've seen one of these before. Okay. So I'm just going to point to a line. They're all numbered. And you're just going to read the letters off for me, okay? Let's go ahead, just for fun, and go ahead and read me off line one. Okay. Um, and go ahead and cover your right eye for me. And let's go down to line four. And let's go to line seven. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go to line eight. Okay, and all the way down to line 11, right down here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Very good job, very close. Okay, go ahead and cover the left eye for me, okay? Gonna do the same thing. So, left eye covered, very good. Let's go ahead and do line three. Okay, and line six. Okay, let's go to line seven. Very good. And let's go to line nine, right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, good job. Okay, 
And let's go all the way down to line 11. Mm -hmm. Okay. What was this one? Okay. Okay, uh, let's try line 10 real quick here. Okay, very good job. No, you did great, thank you. You can uncover your eye now. Okay. All right. So for the last test for sight, I do have uh, some uh, cards here and they have different colors on them. It's super simple. Just go ahead and tell me which color. It doesn't have to be the exact color. Um, but just tell me what color it closely resembles off the top of your head, okay? All right. Yellow, very good. Green, correct. Blue, mm-hmm. Very good. Okay, fantastic. Okay. okay. Now I have a short little test where I'm just going to be testing your um, smelling abilities and to do that I just have this little pot right here and it has something inside of it that's pretty strong and apparent and I'm just gonna have you close your eyes that way you can really focus and I want you to tell me the first thought that comes to your mind whenever you smell this okay okay yeah just go ahead and close your eyes and I'm gonna open this up it shouldn't irritate you at all I'm going to be sticking it right under your nose. Smell, smell, smell. Okay, you can open your eyes. Mint. Very good job. Alright, so that was simple, right? Okay. Now we're going to move on to a taste test. Now for that I have uh, some tongue depressors. And these have different tastes on them. So I'm going to put some more gloves on and have you open your mouth. And I'm going to want to have you close your eyes so you can really focus on your sense of taste. I'm going to be putting it onto your tongue very lightly. And then you're going to tell me what the taste is. Okay. Let me grab some more gloves, all right? Are you doing okay? Do you need anything? All right, and there's water by your side if you need it. Yep, right there. That's yours to keep. Okay. Okay. different packs of them here. So we're just going to go one by one. I think there are two. So there's four different flavors, okay? Alright, so go ahead and eyes closed for me. Very good. And I'm just going to have, yeah, Perfect. Go ahead and open up nice and wide. Ah, uh, I am applying the first one to your tongue. Yeah, you can close your mouth if you want. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can open. What did 
juice you get from that. Okay, very good job. I'm just gonna toss this in the trash. All right, eyes closed again, mouth open, and second one. Okay, you can open your mouth. All right, what did you get? Very good. That's correct. Right, we've got two more, all right? Get a different flavor over here. All right, so eyes closed, mouth open. Third one. Okay, and open. you like these tastes and they're not too unpleasant for you. Okay, good. Alright, eyes closed one more time. Mouth open. Ah, very good. Close your mouth. Okay, open. Very good. Alright, that is 100% correct. You've got all of them correct. Very good job. I'm going to toss these real quick and then we'll move on. A quick little note here. Alright, now we're going to test your um, sense of touch, okay? So for this, I'm going to have you close your eyes again, and I'm going to have you feel um, a couple different things. Alright, so go ahead and close your eyes, and I'm going to have you stick your hand out. Perfect. I'm going to be placing it on this. I have, I'm holding something that you're going to be feeling. I want you to put your hand on there and just kind of feel a little bit around. Yep, just feel it. Yep. Okay, can you describe what you're feeling for me? With your eyes closed? Okay. So soft, kind of squishy. Okay. Yep, so it was actually carpet. You can open your eyes. This is what I had you feel. Kind of weird, but one of the ways that we do our tests here. Alright, so now I'm going to be doing a little test on your arm. So I'm going to be applying a couple of tools and you're going to describe what you feel from each of the tools, okay? They're not going to hurt you at all, of course, um, but you're just going to describe it for me, okay? One might feel a little more unpleasant than the other, but it's not going to hurt, I promise. So go ahead and close your eyes and I'm going to Use the first tool on you now, okay? So just give me your arm, very good. Yeah, you can just start describing to me what you feel as I'm doing this. Okay, mm-hmm. Okay, and I'll do your other arm. Okay, thank you. Okay. Very good. So you can open your eyes. I was just using a little spoolie. So that counts. Very good job. Go ahead and close your eyes again, okay? And I'm just going to be lightly using this other instrument on your arm again. So eyes closed. Very good. Take your arm. I'm just going to be poking just a little bit, ever so lightly. Okay, other arm and just start describing to me what you're feeling. Okay, yeah. Okay, you can open your eyes. So I was just using this little guide to lightly just poke your hand, okay? 
All right, so what I'm gonna do with this is one more thing that have you close your eyes and I'm going to poke the palm of your hand. I want you to tell me how many times I poke it, okay? All right, here we go. How many times? Five, good job. And the other hand. Ten. Very good job. Okay, you can go ahead and open your eyes now. That wasn't so bad, right? Yeah. Okay, well, you're doing spectacular so far. Um, you've been able to focus on each test and listen to direction. And you've been um, getting all of them, all of the tests correctly. So you've guessed all of the um, tastes correctly. You were able to identify the smell. You were able to describe the different feelings of the different instruments I used on your arm and hands. You're counting. You were able to describe the feel, the touch of the carpet sample. So that's very good. Um, your ears and nose were pretty good. Um, your wound up here, it is healing very nicely. Your eyesight is good. Nothing out of the ordinary. I'm gonna do one more test with my hands for your eyesight, just to make sure, okay? And then besides that, there's nothing else that, um, I know you said you have a little bit of a headache, and then there was some tenderness on your temples. Okay, um, for that, I'm gonna go ahead and give you something real quick for that, just a little bit of ibuprofen. Let me make sure I have some in my hands. Okay. So I'm just gonna give you one of these. You need to have water there by your side, okay? to do is just do a simple test for your eyesight, the last one. And for this, what I'm going to have you do is, similar to the flashlight test, I'm going to have you focus on something, so like my nose or the E behind me or something else that you can focus on. And I'm going to have you keep your gaze there while you keep your head still, okay? All right. So this is going to test your peripheral vision. So what you're going to do is tell me when you see my right or left hand, uh, finger wiggle, okay? Okay. Head nice and straight, and don't look at my fingers. Make sure you're focusing on something else. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and just stare at the, the E behind me, okay? Perfect. All right, here we go. Mm-hmm. Good. Mm-hmm. Good. Good job. Okay, excellent. Very good job. So like I said, great job on all of your tests. I would say there's nothing to be concerned about. I didn't find anything that was of concern or that I would recommend a specialist for. I think you just need to continue to take it easy. 
um, follow up on your discharge instructions. Keep your wound nice and clean and covered and make sure you're drinking lots of water, eating as healthy as you can, and really focus on getting some good sleep. Now, if you continue to have problems, um, I would recommend going into your GP, making an appointment and seeing what they recommend. Um, it sounds like you might need to go see a specialist for that. So that could be, there could be different reasons for that. So I do know I like sleep, ap sleep apnea runs in your family or anything else that would be causing some kind of insomnia. Okay. Yeah, so that's something to talk to them about and they can definitely help you. But as far as I'm concerned, I would say you're totally good to go to continue to heal physically and mentally and you're definitely on the road to recovery. All right, so I'll be writing up a full report. I'll be sending it to your doctor's office and you'll also be receiving a copy as well. And if you have any questions or concerns or anything comes up, just please don't hesitate to call my office and you can leave a message for me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and if there's nothing else and um, you're free to go, you can go ahead and take your water with you. It was very, very nice to meet you. Thank you so much for following along with all the tests I had for you today. And I hope that you get to feeling better very, very soon. Okay, have a great rest of your day, okay? All right, bye.